back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, we're basically going to be capturing the first name of the user and the last name of the user using user inputs and then printing them but swapped. So once we get the first name and the last name, we're basically going to print back the last name and then the first name with a space in between. Now, this is actually a very simple tutorial, but a lot of people actually ask me how to do it and they seem to get confused about it. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to create first name as the variable to save the first name. And to get user input, we're basically going to say first name equals to input. And inside of here, we're going to give a message to the user. In our case, we're going to say, enter your first name. After this, we're obviously going to do the same thing for the last name. So we're going to say last name is equal to input. And then inside of here, we're going to say, enter your last name. It seems like I accidentally added two extra brackets, so I'm just going to remove those. There we go, and that still works. And now for the printing. Now, this is actually the part where people get confused about how to print it in opposite. And all I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to have a print statement, a very normal one. And we can say something like, hello, just to say hello to the user. And then we're going to say plus. And all I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to be typing in last name. Plus, and again, let's have a space in between. So plus, empty space, and then another plus. And then I'm going to say last name. There we go. Let's save this and run this and see what we get. Enter your first name. So I'm going to put David. Enter your last name. I'm going to put Bullis. And once I enter, it's going to say hello, Bullis, Bullis. So we did a mistake here. Let's find out what. And that's because I actually ended up writing last name again. What we want to do is write first name instead. Let's run it this time. Enter your first name. I'm going to say David, last name, Bullis. And now, as you can see, it says hello, Bullis, so my last name, and then space, and then David. So we correctly managed to get the user input for first and last name, swap it, and print it back to the user. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe, and see you next time.